but then it's come and select this small arrow. What this is, this links to all the columns available in this project. All the information that you want to appear in your gun chart, you look for it now here. So just in the list, look for the PDS. But here you're deciding that you want it to be on that right. So when you when you select the UBS and it's on the right and click OK, it should appear on the right. Now notice the other kind of information that you can also have on your gun chart area. And this was important. Yesterday we said what you want to avoid is cluttering the gun chart. That's why we have no stage. So what you find is that this is an abbreviation or a very brief kind of information that can be given. So you can decide. Maybe you also want uh, resource names to appear there. Maybe you also want things like, um, what's so many things in this case? Resource names are the names of the people responsible for that task. Correct. Correct. And you define them first, then you can allocate. When you allocate, which we are coming to today, they appear automatically. But sometimes they are hidden. If they are hidden, you come back and specify resource names. You want to avoid, yeah, you want to avoid, you know, notes now, notes are very lengthy statements. Words, a lot of words in that. That's why there's an area for notes page. Yeah. What you may want to do is that all the time when you have an icon of the note page appearing automatically in that column, it just triggers, it points to that there's something I need to read here. That's why there's a notes page. Otherwise, it would be pattern in this area. Because you can see all the arrows are everywhere, you know, the bars are coming in. That's what you want to avoid. By the way, in the same window, in the same window you find, yesterday we talked about formatting. Remember we talked about the color codes? If you go to the bars area here, maybe you want a different color for your bars. So you also have a way to change the colors of, of, of your bar. So it's a way of styling your ganja, a way of adding interest. But note this, please, avoid color red. The next two somebody is favorite color. Okay, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not cast in stone. It's not a rule. Eh? Why I'm saying that is because we're going to find out today, as we finish up our, our training today, the critical path adopts the color red automatically. So you can imagine the chaos of having red bars with red, because now you know what is critical and not critical. Because what this has been designed to do is to give you a difference in color. Non-critical tasks are blue. Critical tasks are red, automatically. So you'll see that when we come to that, to that section. And uh, if, like, you're running the nature of the project, the rich keeps on tracking. And what kind of the How do you know? Good. If you're running late, there are two things here. First, you must have saved a baseline. We've not yet saved a baseline. Two, the minute you save a baseline and you do what we call track, tracking a, a project, there are two colors, blue and gray. The gray bar appears below the blue bar. So what you're looking at is, what you want to be looking at is your blue bar, which is actual. Your gray is your baseline, telling you, uh, this is what you should have been doing. So sometimes it's ahead, or 